Hey everyone, Daniel here from the Truck Insurance Channel. In this video, I'm talking about hiring CDL drivers. I've been interviewing a lot of fleet managers and recruiters here recently, and I've got a bunch of great info to share. As I go through this video, check out the description below for a ton of links to the various resources I'm talking about, and don't forget to like, subscribe, do the notifications, you know the drill. I'm gonna cover what are some of the best practices and tips for hiring, no, I don't have them all, but I've got some really good ones. Best practices. Hiring drivers is a race, all right? Most of the time, drivers are applying to many companies at once, and they are also constantly getting offers from other companies. The faster you can get through all the requirements of hiring, the more likely you are to convert applicants to drivers. We always hear about the driver shortage. Personally, I think it's more of a driver retention problem and if you want to solve for that issue, you've got to start with recruiting. Also, before I dive into this, word of mouth or referrals are kind of a given when it comes to finding drivers, just FYI. Here's a big one that comes up all the time. What job board should I post to? All of them? <laughs> no, instead of talking about individual job boards and which one I think is the best, I'm going to post a link below in the description to a landing page on my website with a master list of job boards and other places to post jobs. My goal is to rank them based on feedback we get, and I'll keep updating this over time. So if you want to comment below with your favorite places to post for recruiting, please feel free. I'm going to you know, kind of add that into consideration of what I've got so far. That will help out a lot. What are some tips for your job postings? You need to make your post pop. It needs to stand out. you got to be different. All right, because like there's a lot of trucking companies looking for drivers and you're kind of all hiring for a lot of the same things. There might be specific like hazmats or doubles, triples, whatever that not a lot of drivers have. That's cool. A lot of companies are looking for the same thing you are. So you got to stand out. Most importantly, be transparent. I don't think anyone can sniff out bullshit better than a truck driver. So don't bother trying to hide anything. What info should I put in a job posting? Obviously cover all the different types of pay base pay, detention pay, layover pay, and then what I would focus on are your company perks. Be creative here. These are things the drivers hold on to and things that can really set your company apart. Really strive to set the right expectations. What do you expect from the driver? What should the driver expect from you and your company? Also mention equipment, like what equipment is offered if you're running company trucks. For owner operators, have your requirements of the owner operator, their CDL, all that, and then the requirements of their equipment. It's really important. Frequent locations you haul to or from or areas you, know, you specifically avoid, that's an easy way to pop up in a driver's search, you know, if there's something specific around locations. And then once you actually get some applicants, what are some tips with applicants? The biggest one I've heard across everybody is get people on the phone as soon as possible. Phone conversations are the most effective at converting applicants. If you're gonna do text messages or emails or social media posts and get, you know, message people through social media, there's some options to automate some of that. And uh, if you guys post below, uh, comment, you know, you wanna learn about how to automate some of that, I could do some more videos on, on automating some of these processes and some of the communications. So feel free to let me know. This is a race, so the faster you can communicate, the faster you can hire. Be honest and transparent. Again, transparency and setting expectations super important, correlates to driver retention. When you're talking to a potential driver, you know, tell them how much your current driver is making on average. How many days are your current drivers on or off the road? What do you expect this new driver to do? And then like, how consistent is the work from your company? Are there any seasonal highs or lows? These are things that really come up you know, and surprise people and then the drivers just disappear from a company. Um, you should help them plan ahead if there are you know, some, some lows throughout the year. If I missed anything, feel free to light me on fire in the comments. I do plan on making some more videos, taking a deeper dive into each aspect of hiring, so keep an eye out for those. As always, feel free to schedule calls with us. It's free anytime. If you need help with insurance quotes, we can certainly handle that for you, link below. And one more time, like, subscribe, smash the bell. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.